Welcome to the Social Mission Revolution. Each week we explore some of the greatest undertold stories of businesses and everyday people who are making their ultimate impact on the world through social mission. This is Social Mission Revolution and this is your host, Andrea Putting. Today we're here on Social Mission with Denny Francisco and it's a joy to have her with us to share her social mission and her work that she does. I think it's very exciting to to be able to learn a little bit more about what she does. So I'm going to introduce you to Denny and have her explain to you all about her work. Okay, uh, thanks Andrea. Uh, so yes, uh, lovely to be with you as well. I'm a Wiradjuri woman from New South Wales. I uh, live off country uh, in the city of Melbourne and I'm the founder, designer of a, a business called Angali, which is an Indigenous business working with Indigenous artists, photographers, creatives, to produce clothing, collectibles, accessories, and homewares. Wonderful. And and tell us about, about what Nagali means, because I liked that. Yes. Um, well, uh, first of all, Nagali can be pronounced in a number of different ways. It can be pronounced Nagali, it can be pronounced Ngali. It, in some indigenous languages, it would also be pronounced as Gali. Um, across a number of indigenous languages, however, it translates to we or us, so the collective whole. Yeah, so so that brings a, a piece of the spirit of collaboration along in, into your business, that it's about we as a whole, not, not about me, it's about us. Yeah, I think that that is um, really at the heart of um, what we're about and personally what I'm about. I've always believed that collectively and collaboratively we can achieve far greater outcomes uh, when we work that way. And it's also uh, more exciting. Um, I think that we achieve things greater than what we thought we ever could when um, we have the ability to bring people together under a collective vision. Yeah. Yeah. And when we have this collective vision, then that is, it's, it is, it's so much more powerful than, than the vision of one person. If it's a shared vision, it's, it's really strong. Yes, absolutely. And, and it's very, it's very comforting and also exciting to see other people buying in and being a part of, of that vision as well. Yeah. Wonderful. So my question that I, I ask everybody is if there was one thing for you, you could fight for, what would that be? What would that be for you? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great question, isn't it? Uh, for me, it would be social justice. Um, you know, particularly, I guess, um, uh, very much around uh, indigenous e equality. Um, I mean, I, I think it, I think it, social justice relates to everybody. Absolutely, yes, yeah. um, as an indigenous business, um, it's it's a particular a driving force uh, for for me to be thinking of um, social justice in the indigenous space. Yeah, and making sure that each person feels that they have a place in the world that they feel valued for who they are, which... Yeah, um, same opportunities, um, yeah. same, um, yeah, uh, equal opportunities to, to shine in their own way in the world. Yeah. So sh can you share with us about what your social mission is with your business as... Sorry, go on. Yeah, as part of part of your business what is the social mission that's behind that besides what you're endeavoring yeah um yeah I, you know, um 
I believe that every business uh, should be a business for good. And I think that every business has a responsibility to um, give back beyond, um, you know, simply being a commercial enterprise. Uh, uh, for me, uh, education is um, a critical component in order for, um, you know, for equality to, to exist. So what um, we do at Angali is that uh, we support um, a, an organisation called the Dotcom Mob. Uh, and we do that through uh, an organisation called B1G1, which is... Um, um, by one, uh, give one. Yeah, which is by one, give one. Um, which is kind of a funny title because it's not yes. necessarily about buying one and giving one, but uh, <laughs> but it is about you know giving. It is about giving back, and and through that um, organisation, it gives us the opportunity for us to be able to through every transaction that happens through Angali is to is to give back to the dot com mob for the um, uh, enhancement and development of indigenous literacy and IT skills, particularly for children in remote areas. Mm -hmm. um, if, if our children don't have access to those uh, things, um, and then um, we're all going, always going to be left behind. So education is a really key component um, and something that you know, we feel quite strongly and passionately about. Yeah, and the, remote, the remoteness of some communities really is an issue as far as that goes because if people aren't in Australia they don't understand what the remoteness is really like and we're talking thousands of kilometres away from anybody. Yes. So, so having that access to enhance their education is is vital for them to become, to have an education. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those fundamental things that I guess we 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 take for, for granted uh, in terms of access to education. Yeah, um, you know, there's all different levels of that. Of course, even in um, urban the urban spaces, um, but uh, for for Angali to be able to work that way uh, for the kids in remote areas um, is it's an important factor in why we do what we do yeah so how do you use how do you implement that alongside your business and letting people know that that's a part of who you are and how does that affect yeah well i, I think it comes back to the um concept of collaboration again because um the way that we have have set it up because you know our, the type of business um that all businesses are busy doing business yeah that's um, right and and being able to work through uh, b1g1 has really simplified it for us in terms of um we do what we do within the business um as i said before every transaction that happens within angali then makes a financial contribution back um to the project uh that we just spoke about and it, it allows us to be able to concentrate on the being the best that we can within the business that we that we run. Mm -hmm. So um, it simplifies the process because sometimes um, businesses thinking about how they're going to give back or what it is that they're able to do. Sometimes it can seem a little bit either complicated or a little bit too hard while they're trying to actually build and grow their business. But what we found doing it this way simplifies um, the process um, while still having uh, the impact. And so basically it just means also from a collaboration point of view, our customers can also feel that their purchases um, of Angali product also to contribute to something that's bigger than simply a commercial exchange. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think that um, that helps to simplify it for people to knowing that they can also make a contribution to the kids in remote areas. Yeah. And that's one of the things I like about B1G1 is because not every business is able to have that time and energy to put into having a social mission but it allows them to have one. Now, if you look at 
the variety of of um, projects that people can be involved in through B1G1, you are able to find something that is deeply in alignment with with who you are and who your business is. Yes, definitely. And that was one of the things that I spoke to B1G1 about, that our interest was solely um, to find a project that was specifically connected to Indigenous education. Yeah. And luckily, uh, they had already um, had uh, the dot-com mob as, as part of their um, project offerings. Yeah. So that that's wonderful that how important that is. So how important do you find that is? It's like you wanted to have a social mission and you found one that you're able to participate in easily that was in alignment. How important? Oh, yeah, it was, it was really important. It was really satisfying. It was like, yes, you know, that's, um, yeah, that, uh, that, it was great. It was everything that we were wanting and, and looking for. Uh, and so it made the process you know, very simple. Yeah. And how do you find that it affects the people who work within your business or associated with that by having that social mission? Uh, you know, I, I think that generally um, people really want to feel that whatever it is that they do, that they're making a positive impact. Uh, they're making their own contribution. And so therefore being a part of someone or something that is doing that already, I think it, it brings people together in, a, in, in quite a, a powerful way. Um, I, I think that doing good actually feels good. <laughs> so yeah. I, I, um, I, I, I do witness it of uh, the people that have become, that have come in contact with Angali or actually worked with Angali and there is a real sense of excitement and a sense of um, um, inclusiveness and, you know, collectively together doing something um, that's good as well as doing, as well as doing business. You know, we're, we're a startup business. Um, you know, we've, we've only been going for um, just on a year. So our contribution at the moment is not hugely significant, you know, um, until we, you know, progressively build our business. But at the same time, uh, we are, uh, because sometimes I think, you know, people think, you know, do they have to start in a really big way or is it going to be complicated? But what I see is that as the business grows, our contribution keeps growing and that's the most important part. Yeah. You know, it's the step-by-step -step process that you can, it's like building a business um, parallel to building um the financial contribution that you that you make and the two things just come together yeah and it would be exciting for people to see that the way that b1g1 reports back to you that you're able to see each month you can see that contribution growing and the difference mm. that you're making to that community yes and we also to get the um, reports back from the dot com mob in terms of what it is that they're doing, how many computers they've been able to secure, um, how many different um, remote locations um, you know have been able to benefit, and and so on. So it, you know it's 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 very transparent, and I think that that's really important too, because people just want to know that if they are making a contribution, what does that contribution? really do and what we would like to do which we haven't done yet is is start to um uh you know sh show those outcomes um to our clients and customers you know so that they can you know they can actually see uh the benefits yeah. not only that angali makes to the dot com mob but you know any of the businesses um, mm. overall uh, yeah that makes contribution yeah so it's wonderful it's giving people that that work with you so they're feeling good about themselves because they're able to work at their talents that they may not have had an opportunity to work at in the way that they want to work at them while also making a contribution to another community yeah yeah, yeah definitely. pretty powerful stuff isn't it <laughs> It is pretty powerful stuff. It's really simple, but it's pretty powerful. And it's, it's just really great to witness and to be involved in. Yeah. 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 I just see how it makes a big 
difference to to people's self worth when they're able to to do that to yeah. be able to to know that what they're doing every day is helping another other people to have something that's of value to them yes exactly so if you were to uh give any advice to anyone who was in business who was thinking about social mission what would would what kind of advice would you share with them um, I guess the, the first advice um, that I, I, I would, oh, maybe it's not advice, but maybe more of a suggestion is that, you know, to really make a commitment to be a business for good and, you know, and to include mm. um, in one's um, business plan, uh, you know, the, the giving back component, because I think it's so incredibly important for businesses today. Um, I think that uh, it also to offers the clients of that business an opportunity, as we've just spoken about, to be involved in um, something um, positive. Uh, and from an advice point of view, um, is, is to find the simplest, most streamlined way to do it so that it doesn't distract from doing the business day to day. Because mm -hmm. uh, the more that we can concentrate on building the best most sustainable businesses then the bigger social impact we can make so uh so if we can find the simple way to give back and put our energies and concentrations into building our our businesses in a sustainable way uh, then I, I think that that's important um to consider yeah yeah that's great advice it's to include it in your plans right from the get-go this is part of who our business is this is what we want to do how can we align our business with something that's of value to us yes exactly and even if the business has been going for a long time um you know no matter how long the business has been going you know there's always the opportunity to start today isn't there that's right it's never too late <laughs> never too late to start giving exactly <laughs> And then, and then also to what is good is that, you know, collectively with employees and so on of businesses, um, they could decide together the project or projects, because there may be more than one, that they would like to support. Yes, and that's, that's certainly, that's what I encourage is for people when businesses are getting together to create, to, to go into a social mission is that everyone comes together rather than one person saying, this is what we're going to do. If everyone yes. comes together and looks at what's in alignment for who they are and their purpose and their visions, yes. then it's even more powerful because they've chosen it together. Yes, absolutely. Everybody gets behind it then, don't, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't belong to one person. It's everyone's, everyone's baby. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Create it together. I'd like to give you a bit of an opportunity to, to give a bit of a pitch for what your business is is about how people can find you and what they would what they can um how they can support your business and what you're doing because i think supporting our in indigenous businesses is is something to do in the first place is to to support those who are supporting that culture that's the oldest culture in the world is pretty exciting to be able to do that. And I'm sure people want to do that. So, Oh uh, yeah. Thank you for that. Um, so, um, Angali is an e-commerce business. Uh, so, um, you simply find us through, um, angali.com.au, which is spelled N G A L I. Um, so, for example, the um, the range that we have just released now, we've worked in collaboration with a Gidja man uh, from the Kimberley, uh, Lindsay Malay, and we've translated a number of his stunning artworks uh, mm. onto fabrications. We generally work with um, high quality uh, fabrics and um, and then silhouettes that are that are timeless. So. So what we do is we design for a lifetime, not for a season. 
so so basically our our designs are not um, fast fashion. Uh, yeah, they're not all. throwaway fashion. They're so 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 um, the garments that we do, um, are, as I said, designed to to life to be timeless. Uh, and so I guess you know anybody who uh, you know likes what it is that we're doing, I think it's great for them to know that at any transaction um, or purchases that they do with us um, does does give back to the community as we've been talking about. So, and as a startup business, um, you know, we would welcome all the support that we can get yep. for that. Um, and, um, and then even to, you know, pass on information through social media and so on about what it is that we're doing. So with the example with, with Lindsay um, Belay, so we have a, a great working relationship with the Woman Art Centre uh, in the Kimberley for, um, you know, the, this range and then the, the next range. Uh, so it benefits him as an artist, but it also too benefits the woman um, art community. And, you know, so that's also, to, that's part yeah. of the process we've been talking it's, about. It's like an extra social mission on top of your social mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, uh, and then this season when we did our launch, we also did a short runway for um, the children at Warman um, who'd come into the art centre to paint. And uh, so we took some of their paintings and put those onto, um, onto clothing. It wasn't a social, it wasn't a commercial enterprise. It was simply something to celebrate the art of the kids so yep. that they could get excited. Um, to and about. encouraging them to, to continue their, their painting, their work. Yes, exactly. This has been the Social Mission Revolution with Andrea Putting. Join me again next week when we'll speak to another social mission revolutionist who will inspire you on your journey to making your ultimate impact on the world.